What's up, YouTube? All right, so I just got my fuel pump in the mail. So I guess you could say this is kind of an unboxing video or whatever. But uh, it's a wall bro 255 fuel pump. And, uh, looks like everything is in the box, so I guess we can unwrap this. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Wall bro 255 fuel pump. It's pretty simple. Okay. Looks pretty good. So, this, and this is like the wiring. And everything. For our cars, we don't need to use any of this, I believe. This looks like some next level shit. But, um, yeah. That looks. So, basically, this is the fuel pump. I'm gonna be using the stock, the stock plug that comes out of the um, the old fuel pump, and just basically just you know like a giant like plug and play. Take the old one out, put a new one in. So we don't really need the rest of this stuff here. So that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna go to the car and take out the whole basic, the whole fuel housing. Now we're gonna start this whole fuel pump change should be pretty easy uh make sure your back seat's clear because you gotta pop up these seats i'll eventually find this button but i was gonna just put my stuff in the trunk i guess so so i'll clear this up and come back all right so once you clip your back seat you want to go to every single well to both sides of the car and grab from right here and pop it up right as you can see i already did it on both sides they're clips it's easier to just open the door and go on the other side so yeah you have to pull real hard don't worry nothing will break it's like one of those clipping clips so we just pull up real hard and pow it will both of them come up so oh look what i found mitsubishi interesting right I guess I'll just put that back right. So there is where we want to go. And what you'll do now is you'll just pull it up. It's just like an adhesive covering it, so just uh get a screwdriver and pry it up. So Alright, so once you peel this cover off, it's basically held on like by this adhesive right here. But, uh, yeah, you just pry it off. Now we have, uh, three things to disconnect. This clip right here. Let's see if I can do it. We have, that's all the clip. We have, like, a fuel feed. So, for the fuel feed, you take the screwdriver, lift up the screen one, pull it off. This one, this one's clips. So we find a way to... Flip it up. But, uh, yeah, I'll do that with both hands. And uh, this one's the same one. It has one of these rings. And you just, you know, pull it over this notch right here and then pull it straight off. So, let's disconnect those. Alright, so after we got, after we disconnect all three of these things, alright, now we can. Take our 8mm and remove these 6 bolts. So, then after that, we can pull the whole thing. And I also rec recommend gloves and a plastic bag. Plastic bag to put the, um, you know, the whole fuel pump in. So, we're going to get to that now. Uh, before completely removing the housing, or the fuel pump, um, I recommend you should, if it looks this bad, you should, um, vacuum out, you know, around here so none of this rust actually gets into the fuel. Because that would be really bad if, you know, that was tossed in the fuel lines and whatever, so. 
All right, so it's so much cleaner now. Now what we do is lift off this housing. Try to spill any fuel, guys. So now uh, remove this. And now as you can see, see, I can access the whole thing. So now what you want to do is, you know, you want to pull it out and put it into a plastic bag so you don't, you know, try, try not to spill anything. You know, this is, this is expensive stuff right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull that out. Alright, so after you take the fuel pump out, make sure you wipe everything down properly. Because um, yeah, you know you damn well spilled a whole bunch of fuel. So, and, uh, yeah, make sure you wipe off all the connections. And, uh, to keep this, you know, from shit getting in it, let's just cover it up back with the same cover we sent it with. So, perfect, right? Um,. Yeah, so now we're going to go back into the house and change the fuel pump. Alright guys, so took it out of the car, even left it outside overnight so it doesn't, you know, smell up my house of gasoline. But um, yeah, so now we're going to start, going to start by uh, removing these clips. Alright, so should be pretty simple. Probably have to do it with one hand. But, um, yeah, so we, we remove both of these clips. Right? This one has a little pinch one right here on the side. Yeah, so, after that, you're going to look for the side without the spring. See? You're gonna push it down, and there's going to be oh, probably the wrong side. Yeah, so on the side with the spring, we need to remove that C. Well, I guess it's like a C ring or whatever. And what you do is you just take like a you know like a thin nose pliers or like a needle nose pliers, and like just pull it off basically. And then this could we can we will be, be able to take off the whole fuel hat so I'm gonna do that alright so after unplugging this we need to remove the fuel hat so on the side with the spring you wanna push it down and then you're gonna see a little C ring now what you need to do is uh, take a little needle nose pliers and pull the C ring off and then after that we'll be able to have access to this housing right here should be good so that's what the that's what the C ring looks like. If I can focus it or whatever. Um Yeah, so after this we can take this off. But now we have to remove I believe there's three clips. One, two Okay, so just two. Yeah, so we we remove these two clips and now now we can pull this centerpiece out. Alright, so my bad. There was actually another third clip on this side. And then I also disconnected this hose from right here. The camera will focus. Yeah, from right there. Just, you know, like a clip. You just pull it off and shit. So now, now we have to take off the bottom housing. And we can also take off this clip. The housing um, clip. It just comes off like that. Everything only goes back on one way, so it's pretty simple to take him, take things off and put them back on. So now we have to open up this housing, and the fuel pump will be right in there. So I removed the bottom half. It was like a bunch of clips, so be careful. Um. These are some pretty thick clips, so just take like a prying tool with like a really small flathead and get in be between them and um, gently pry them apart. Basically came from here, basically. Next, you disconnect the wiring. Oh, this is black wiring right here. 
pull the clip from the black side, pull the clip, pull it out. Now you should be able to disconnect your whole fuel pump, your old fuel pump. So I'll do that and get back on this. All right, and that's the fuel pump. So basically to take it out of this housing, I um, basically just put my finger on here and pushed it down. And it just came straight down with a whole bunch of fuel with it also. So be careful of that. Make sure you got some napkins handy. And uh, yeah, that's the fuel pump. So um, when you take it out, make sure that the gasket comes out with it. Rubber O-ring or whatever. And I believe we can replace this too. We have to replace this. So as you can see, that, that there's no um, there's no rubber gasket on it. But when you look in there, you see that black circle, the small black circle in the upper top screen. That's what we need to take out because in the head gasket kit, it automatically comes with one. So you can see this one. That's the it's the old gasket. Let's see if I can take it out on video. Nah, so I'm not even gonna try. Um. Yeah, so make sure you take off this. I'm pretty sure we need this. And take out the old O-ring. So, I'm gonna do that and bring out the new fuel pump. All right, so you got the new fuel pump here. Make sure when you're putting this on, you want to, you know, take off these caps. And as you can see, they're about the same size, hopefully. Yeah, they're about the same size. Just a little bit, this one's just a little bit fatter should fit in there perfectly but yeah with no problem so um i already put the o-ring on you see this is the one that comes with the kit this rubber o-ring right here and i just put the cap back over it so let me take this off so yeah you want to take that off and put the o-ring on it but before we do that Let's take this and put this back on it, I believe. If it doesn't fit, you know, it's not that hard to just take it back off, so. So, that's what we're going to do. And put it up back in there. Make sure you take off the bottom one too. Just like that. So. And um, just by looking at this, right? It can, it's probably like some filter of some sort. I don't really know too much about these things, but it looks like a filter of some sort. And this looks like, you know, kind of the same thing, just different shape. So we're gonna try and pop this one out and pop that one in. If it goes in, you know, snug or whatever, then I know that that's what we're supposed to do. So, so let me get on that. All right, so. My bad, guys. I actually ended up buying the wrong fuel pump. So I took it back and I got a Datchworks. I hope I'm not mispronouncing their name, but 265 fuel pump. And then uh, I installed it back into the pump. But, you know, camera issues didn't really catch it on camera on film. So... Yeah, that's it, back in and whatever. Don't worry about these wires and shit. It's just, if you remember from my last video, we're at the shop, so. Yeah. So yeah, I really wish I could have showed you guys how to uh, put everything back, but you know, what can you say, right? So, BG be on the road soon. And uh, I put the back seat in and a bunch of shit else. So, yeah, BG will be on the road soon. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, you should please subscribe. It's going to be lots more content on this channel. So, if you guys have a great day and never stop modifying.